Hello everyone. Um, today I'm going to go over some basic watercolor techniques on how to do a wash. And a wash is just a way to cover a way to cover an area using water and paint. And there's different ways to do it. So uh, in this example, I'm going to do a flat wash. And that's a, a type of wash that will give you just a flat, even color. Now, this technique, we're going to do the wet on wet. Then I'm going to show a beaded wash and then a wet on dry. So the first thing we want to do is have two jars of clean water. Take your brush and we're going to practice and do... Do an area, wet it with clean, plain water. Now there's a little color on here, but that's fine. The color actually sees, makes you see that, it, that it's wet. So I'm just going to do this little square. And I'm using the 100% cotton arches. And it will absorb a little bit into the paper. If you're using canson, you might get a different result. It tends to sit on top with canson. Then you're just going to take, um, in this example, I'm using blue cobalt. You mix it up with enough water to cover the area that you want. And you want an even, an even saturation. And you can test it out on the side to see what color you're getting. Now it is going to um, dry lighter because you started wet. So I think I have plenty um, to cover this small area. And then I'm going to go in and just um, just do strokes across. and overlap the strokes. And it doesn't look too even right now, but if you let the water blend it, it will look more even. Now, I don't quite think that's going to dry the right way, so I can go over it again. This isn't my preferred way to do a wash. So if I let that dry, it should even out pretty well. And uh, I can tilt the paper just a little bit. So it should dry fairly evenly. It's not perfect. Um, so that's the wet and wet, but it's all the same, trying to be a flat, continuous value. Um, so, another method is what they call a beaded wash, and that's when you're working on dry paper. And once again, I want to make sure I have enough paint mixed up to cover this area. Otherwise, you'll get two different saturations because you're trying to mix up paint in the middle of what you're covering. And that's good practice anytime you're doing watercolor. So on this example, I'm going to tilt the board just a little bit. And you can use either a wide brush like this, or I've seen it done with just a small round brush. Let's see what happens if we do it this way. Um, I'm getting wet enough that we get a wet enough solution that when I start and you tilt the board, you'll get like a bead going across. That's called a beaded wash. So then the next stroke, you're bringing down that bead. 
And your next stroke, you're bringing the B down again. And this stroke, there's not enough of a B, so um, we go over a little bit. Then I'll draw it down again. And there's a little bit of a B here. So that gives it also a fairly even wash. Now what, what happens if I want to get a graduated wash? Um, you can either go darker to lighter. So I'm going to try that. So I'm going to start out, try to go darker to lighter. So I'm going to go here. And then as I come down, actually I'm going to go lighter to darker. Let me think of it. I'm going to mix up a, a darker solution, and then when I bring the B down, I'll try to gradually make that darker as I go. So it's, it takes a lot of practice, and sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. As long as it's still wet, and you, you brush into it, it won't, um, you won't get a bloom. But if you get a wetter area and um, a more diluted solution and brush it into there, you get what they call a bloom.